good morning. Welcome to Bear Mountain. I'm coming out from behind the camera and because I have seating to do and so I thought I would film myself as best as I can. Um, show you what I do primarily on the farm. I am the major seeder in the greenhouse and today I am working on our week three um, schedule. Uh, we put together a schedule every year and it used to be great detail, but now it's more just like, I uh, tried to do this and this week and that and that week and it's week three and I am a little behind. So I'm going to try and catch up um, and today what I'm going to be showing you on um, the seating is using our little um, three quarter inch mini blocks to seed the stock that is scheduled about two weeks ago. But I can catch up because they're fast. And so um, here's this, we have a schedule and here's the mini blocks. And they're all set, ready to, they. Um, been made and there are 300 of these and I as you can see I already have labels in here for my stock and There are numerous ways. I'm going to do three three um, Different colors of stock. They're all of the iron series and Because those seem to work the very best for us and I'm going I'm going to do them in three blocks of color a hundred um, blocks per color and with a mini blocks, you can go down. As you can see, I'm going down. That's a hundred, another hundred, and another hundred there. Or you could go across if you wanted to do more colors. You could go across and do them in sixties across. Or they kind of they stamp out into groups of twenty, and you could just do twenty if you'd like. Um, but I like to be able to offer. You know a few bunches for a uh, uh, solid color and um, so I do them in 100. Um, normally in the past before the pandemic I used to do three of these trays which would be 900, 900 um, stocks, individual little blocks of stock. Um, the pandemic has kind of um, forced us to shrink back a little bit and so right now I am only going to do just this one tray right now and I have another one or two scheduled into the future for a while um, so I'll have stock not a huge lo uh, bunch of them but more regular and um, stock for us is fairly easy um, seeding it is one of the easiest things to do. Um, I also have snapdragons on my list and they are more difficult to do. Um, they're just harder to see for me. Um, but um, the stock for us is an early crop. We already have some in our unheated hoop house. They're already growing and I can include some pictures of that. Um, they're a cool season and they're also a one and done. Particularly the variety that um, we are sowing, which is the Iron Series. They are not pinched. They are one beautiful stem comes up and it's done, one and done. There's the Quartet um, variety and you can pinch those and get multiple stems. We've grown those in the past. They're not as popular. And um, these iron ones are really popular. They ha they're not super, super tall, although we've grown some really good sized ones in the past, um, but they're not super tall like our Canettos or um, the Cheerful series. But those had some drawbacks with them because they have a tendency to flop, twist, and not stand up straight unless they're um, netted with Hortonova netting. And that's just another layer of complexity that we'd like to avoid. And these iron series 
seem to have very sturdy, rigid stems. They're not super, super tall, but they're tall enough for all florists and designers. And they just totally appreciate the fact that they grow nice and straight. So um, that's the variety that we're going to use. Um, I'm growing an iron cherry, an iron apricot, and an iron rose pink. The ones that I currently already have in the field are some yellows, um, some ro uh, a lighter pink, and a, um, I believe a white, I think. It's hard to remember. <laughs> he did those last fall. Um, like I said, they are a cool season. They're a brassica, so, you know, like growing um, cabbage and cauliflower and on those kind of things you want to get them when it's cool and because they just kind of melt and they attract all kinds of bugs and stuff when you um, grow them in the hot summer so you we here cannot grow these year round we try and do them very late fall through winter early winter into you know the Mayish it's kind of depending on the weather mayish is kind of the, the limit and then not through the summer and then we can try again for a late fall one they kind of have a tendency to attract flea beetles and stuff when you're growing them in the wrong season so um that's kind of an overview of you know stock um in terms of how i seed um, I have some tools here and I recommend these these are cheap this is a cedar that I've used in the in um, years now um, I don't use it the way it was intended because it has all these little holes where seed will drop through I um, like to precisely put seeds where I want them on the block so I use this as my seed holder and I use the top flipped over because it has these um, little grooves, edge things here. And this little water thing sits right in there and holds. And the reason I need that is because I use this sharpened um, popsicle stick as my tool. Now people use toothpicks or skewers or whatever. I love this. I like the feel of it in my hand because it feels like a real tool and this tip is honed to you know tiny tiny point and it picks up my seed when it's moistened. Now I know that people stick the tips in their mouth and use that to um, put on the put the seed on the block but uh, I can't uh, seeds are treated with stuff or they're pelleted or whatnot and um, I just can't do that so I dip it in the water I dip it in the water and then pick up the seed now these tubes there's a handful of these tubes. They come with in seeds come in these like Lysiantha seed or Diantha seed come in these things. So I keep them. And you know, and I have a tray full of them, not tons, but after a while and they get gunky, I throw them out. But um, I keep these because they they're good for holding that water so that I can dip in the, the, the tip and dip it in there and then pick up the seed. So use these and, we're, and not lick them. <laughs> so anyway. So I'm just going to finish off the front end of these to show you that it's very easy to just pick up one of these guys, one of these stock seeds, and lay it right on top of the soil block. These are kind of a flat seed, and so this popsicle stick thing works really good. It works with most everything, but 
Um, I really think that stock is one of the easiest seeds to um, sow. Um, and once I finish this, then I'll move on to the next color and the next color and the next color. So I know this is riveting, but this is what I do and how I hang out in the greenhouse. Most of the time there's music playing or podcasts or something going on. Some days I just sit in here in silence and use this as meditation. So there, they're all in there. And that's the first group, the cherry group. And this is them right here. So I'll move into the next one and then we'll do the final one. Little mini black seed with stock. Yay! Okay, so I have them all seeded and seed pack the, of Johnny's says that they need to be covered lightly with vermiculite. Um, they'll take 7 to 14 days at about 65 to 75 degrees. They work faster for me. I can get them germinated as early as three days and long five days. So I don't know what we're doing that makes them go so fast, but they're ready to go. So the next step is I'm going to sprinkle them very lightly with vermiculite. We used to not do that and I found that when they say things like um, it needs light to germinate, you know, for like dianthus or the stock or other seeds that are of that size, we find that the vermiculite helps. It keeps and maintains the um, moisture level in it, and yet there's still plenty of light around it for the seed to germinate. Tony always reminds me that things fall and seed themselves with no help, no vermiculite on, on them in nature, you know, so we don't have to be so worried about, did I overcover it or did I, should I cover it or shouldn't I? If it's a good size seed, it probably would benefit with a little cover. The um, vermiculite that we use is the very fine mix and just got here in a bucket and what I do is I grab a handful and I just lightly sprinkle it over the top of these seeds. Now I can't really show you how to do that and do it so that's the problem with uh, being the camera person and the person who's on camera. <laughs> but anyway I'm just lightly see, uh, covering these seeds with um, this vermiculite and when I get it all covered I'll show you what it looks like. I mean it's light. So uh, that looks pretty good. Um, a little light over here maybe a little more along the edges but what it's doing it will just help maintain a little more moisture in the soil block and I think I'm got it here I think it's good so here's what it looks like very lightly seeded uh, covered with vermiculite so then the next step is to get this 
tray of mini blocks into the permit uh, the tray that it's going to to germinate in in our house so that's the next step so here's a close-up of the tray with all seated labeled and has the vermiculite on it so this is the setup that we use for um our seedlings to go in. This is a rigid bottom that we um, started using several years ago that keeps this, the solid tray, from losing its point here in the corners. We're always where we were getting the um, breakage, the holes, the, the where it would start to leak. It, we were losing these all the time. Once we got these trays here, we <laughs> were able to maintain these so that now we're getting years and years on our trays just by putting that extra little rigid um, bottom in. So we have a solid tray and then this is a capillary mat that we use to water the trays. Um, this is a dry one. We've used these over and over. They've been cut to size. It comes on a big huge roll, which I think we've told you this before. But it fits right nicely in there. And then I get them wetted and so that they're all... The whole um, tray and capillary mat is moist. I'm trying to do this one one-handed. I pour off the excess and this mat now is very very moist and then I will put in the mini blocks into it. I gave the mini blocks a little misting just to make sure that everything is settled in there. It's not overly wet or anything like that and then the next thing I will do is I will put on a humidity dome. And the humidity dome just keeps the moisture in the in the, the tray and it's ready to go into the house and under lights. And hopefully in three days I am ready to bump these up because they'll germinate in three days and probably in seven to ten days I'll be ready to bump them up. And then we'll be moving on to having more stock in our field. So, oh, there we have it. Stock seed all in a tray ready to germinate. Thank you for uh, joining me as I stumble along trying to figure out how to do the seeding and do some filming. Um, check back with me when it comes time for me to um, bump the stock up and then eventually we'll take you to the field when we get ready to plant them in the field and then finally hopefully we'll have some pictures of when they're blooming stock is one of our favorites we love the look of the blossom but we love the smell it has the smell of cookies and cloves so it's a wonderful and easy flower to grow so you might want to give it a try. So thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.